here with Driven Racing Oil, PRI 2023. Use code GBR10, get yourself 10% off your order. But I always say that Driven Oil is the best oil to use, especially in methanol burning engines. And I guess we'll just ask you, Justin, why is that? Why does methanol destroy the oil in our racing engines? That's a lot of times based on the, uh, the base oil used, the detergent package used. Uh, the good thing about the GP1 and the methanol is that Pennsylvania base oil, that Pennsylvania crude, it's, it's unique in itself as to how it protects and the polarity of the base oil. Uh, and not only that, it's how it does uh, work with the methanol or ethanol based fuels along with the gasoline, you know, no problem with the standard 116, 123, whatever, right? It's just works really well and doesn't break down uh, in the fuel dilution like others do. And that's the very first thing that I noticed because we all know that methanol immediately milks oil pretty much. Whenever I started using Driven, I, I told you whenever we first got together, which I was using your product even before you came on board, which obviously we greatly appreciate the help that you guys offer. And it's great to offer a product that we personally believe in, which is the only way we do things here anyway. But I always changed my oil essentially 20 to 25 runs. Didn't matter if it's hot outside, didn't matter if it's cold outside, it just, it was done. Well, whenever I first got to using Driven, I turned it out at 25 runs like always. Next time was 35, still looked new, 45 and so on. I'm up to basically 60 passes and I'm changing it not because I really need to. I mean, all the viscosity looks like it's still there. It's just, I feel bad, you know? So I guess, do I need to be doing that? Well, what we need to do is probably do some more, some oil analysis on it to see what the oil's actually doing there. Uh, ran some testing last year uh, with another bracket race guy, uh, and we were up in uh, approaching 100 runs and doing oil analysis on it, and the oil looked really well. Now, it wasn't a methanol engine, it was a Q16 engine. Uh, but, you know, what we would want to do is look at it. Uh, we could run the oil analysis and make sure that the oil's still good. The good thing about the, the GP1 and, and the driven GP1 is the fact that it, it does hold its viscosity. And it, it, it is, uh, I guess, resistant to the fuel dilution that you see with other products. And the thing that everybody always wants to say all the time, Oil's expensive. We all know oil's expensive. Quality oil is very expensive. But whenever you can go twice, three times as far, it's actually cheap. Yes, that's right. Um, we on in the uh, oval track world. There's lots of the guys that uh, that just change the filter and and replace the court, and they'll go four, five, six nights before they change oil. You know what I mean? Just because they can, because the oil's so much better, and and it and it. You know, it doesn't break down, uh, holds its viscosity. And then at the end of the day, it may be a little more per quart when they buy it, but because you can stretch that, um, it, it ends up saving the guy's money, you know, in the long run. And people always forget, too, we're so, we're so busy spending twenty, thirty, sometimes $50,000 on a new be biggest, baddest motor you can buy, and then you cheap out on oil. Right. Yeah, which doesn't make any sense. Um, you know, you wouldn't decide that uh, you got this $50,000 engine and you're going to put a $200 set of rods in it, right? You know, so why put a cheap oil in it? And to me, if the oil is cheap, what makes it cheap? You know, because there's certain products that it's going to cost you a certain amount of money to put that product in, in the oil, you know. So, you know, you see what I'm getting at there. You yeah. kind of get what you pay for as far as additives and things of that nature. And again, just like I said before, Cheap is a relative term because if you can extend your oil changes two and three times, this is cheap. This is the cheapest way to do things is run it longer if you can. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And, and you know, what we need to do probably with your car is, uh, you know, let's, let's pull some oil analysis and run it and let's just see, you know, how the oil's looking, you know, and, and let's look at the, the viscosity. Let's look at wear metals. And, uh, you know, heck, we may find out that we can go longer than, 60, 70, 80 runs, because at the end of the day, if it can, you know, keep protecting and hold this viscosity, then, you know, let's keep it in there, you know, and let it do its job. Is that primarily what you're looking for in the oil analysis? I guess describe kind of what you're looking for in an oil analysis. So you're in a virgin oil analysis, you kind of know where the total base number is. Uh, you know where your additive, your ZDP, uh, the molly levels, you know where they are. 
coming out of the bottle. Uh, the oil at some point will start deteriorating, so the additives will start um, becoming less effective. So let's just say if the oil starts with 1,500 ppm of zinc, at some point you're going to start seeing reductions there, right? So that's when you really want to change it because those are where your wear protections are. And when you start losing viscosity and when you start losing additives, then you know the oils and it's, it's basically over the hill. It's time for it to change. Uh, but, uh, you know, what we learned uh, by doing a little bit of oil testing with some of these bracket race guys that uh, the oil looked brand new. I mean, it, all the total base numbers, the zinc levels, the viscosity looked just like it did when it came out of the bottle. Yeah, man. If anybody has any more questions that we haven't covered here, how do they get a hold of you? You can give us a shout. Um, you can always email us, drivenracingoil.com, uh, 866-611-1820 is our uh, toll-free number. And give us a shout. One of our guys will get with you. You can ask for me. You know, any of us will be glad to help you and answer any questions you got. Yeah, now you don't have to worry if you don't have to take my word for it. Call them.